All right, so we finally got them in the AKD viscous coupler disc. You guys have seen this. Look at this. So today I'm going to be finally finishing up the viscous and yeah, this has been a nightmare for me money thrown away so I reached out to the company here and they happened to been waiting for these finally got them in and I got my delivery and so today I'm going to be installing it on the viscous and show you how I did mine and they also come with the rings brand new all brand new this is all included in that kit I also got the oil as well, which pretty decent sized bottle here if you ask me. So yeah. yeah. If you want to know the name of the company, they go right there, AKD Buildperformance.com. You guys can check them out. Reason why I chose this because I happened to purchase some of these used and it wasn't working out the way I expect it to be. So I'm gonna show you something. I don't know if you guys ever saw this in my last video. But here, here goes the old ones. This is the old ones. And I'm sure you guys probably have old ones yourself, but check this out. I don't know if you can see that. They move the camera back. But look at this. See that there? They all bent. That's what that means, they all bent. So when it's time to close uh, the viscous, you're gonna have one hell of a problem like I did so take it from me if you guys are gonna rebuild this buy these new these things are super old from factory so buying new ones it's gonna give you a peace of mind that you're gonna get this done right okay so let's move forward and start installing this all right so you want to start off making sure on the bottom you have that seat clamp right on there so it's a little tricky to get this on, but you can do it by hand. You don't have to open this up. See that? And that's what I mean. You gotta make sure this clamp is on there. After that, you can install it on your viscous coupler over there, which I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so we're going to start off with uh, this very thick oil, which this ain't cutting it. This is super thick, that's not helping. Let me just cut this open here. Let's see how. Ah, now we're talking. Alright, so I'm going to put in enough to get this going. That should be enough there. See how much I put in there? I don't know if you can't see. Probably can't see. But I would say mm, that much, if so. Less than a quarter of an inch. Or a quarter of an inch. We want to make sure that's all around. So the first disc you want to put on here, I'm going to call this the floater because it's by itself and you have other ones as well. So people use a pipe, I'm not going to use a pipe.
So I'm going to use both of these to push down. I mean, you guys could use a pipe like other people do. But I'm going to use this because I feel I can move around. Okay. Now that we got that done, we're going to take the first one. Well, actually, the second one. This one's going to go on by the teeth. going to keep doing that all the same coordination all the way through till we get to the end so I'm not going to sit here and show you guys this whole video because it'll be like forever video but you're going to get the idea This one again like I said you're gonna keep going it doesn't matter what coordination you guys use um, you want to keep the labels up you can do that I'm gonna keep doing that So I'm going to keep going with this, and at the end, I'll show you exactly what I did. All right, so this is the final way you're going to end up. Now, when you see this like that, this is going to be the C-clip you put on right here. Once we do that, then this one goes right over it. He's going to send you an extra one, so don't get confused. It's just he doesn't like having odd numbers he likes everything even so you're gonna have an extra one so don't worry about that that you keep to the side again i'm gonna show you how i put that last one on and we're gonna be done here okay so now that we're all done we close this up what you want to do is remove the uh oil service ports off the top of the viscous and let that sit overnight that way it'll make its way down and then you can fill up the difference because when you're pressing this in remember you have to loosen these up and you're going to lose all that I, I call it oil i don't know what you guys call it but it all comes out so remember leave this overnight sitting the next morning you come and you fill it up let all that air come out of it and it's going to start coming down you add the difference of uh, oil back in there close it up and you're ready to go all right guys hope you guys enjoy this video